Today we are going to study about Euler's method or Euler method. You can pronounce it in any way. Okay. So we are going to study learn about Euler's method. What is Euler's method? It is a numerical method for finding solution of differential equation. It is a numerical method for finding solution of differential equation. That is Euler's method. So what is differential equation? dy by dx where y is the independent variable and x is the dependent variable y will be depending on x okay so we can learn about that by doing a question so here given dy by dx equal to x plus 2y so what is dy by dx it is a differential equation we need to find the solution of differential equation by doing Euler's method given that y of 0 equal to 0 that is the initial condition and h equal to 0.1 so what is h h is known as step size it is step size and they are asking us to find y of 0.4 so what do you mean by y of 0.4 if you plot x axis and y axis in a graph if y of 0.4 means is that value on y axis 0.4 no it is not on y axis y of 0.4 means at x equal to 0.4 what is our value of y at x equal to 0.4 what is our value of y if they are asking y of 0.6, what do you mean by that? At x equal to 0.6, what is our value of y? So the thing that is inside the bracket is x value. Okay, remember that. Now in this question, they are asking us to find at x equal to 0.4, what is our value of y? We need to find the value of y. For that, there are two equations. Two equations that you need to learn. The first one is xn equal to xn minus 1 plus h which is meant by if suppose we are going to find x1 we are putting n equal to 1 so x1 equal to x n minus 1 that is x1 minus 1 that is x0 or x0 so x1 minus 1 x0 plus h h is step size that is given in question if you need to find x2 what is that just the previous value that is x1 plus h if you are going to find x3 then just previous value x2 plus h like that so in given in question the initial approximation is given the beginning thing is given okay that is y of 0 equal to 0 what is mean by that at x equal to 0 what is inside bracket the value is x so at x equal to 0 our y will be 0 that is the initial condition when x equal to 0 our y will be also equal to 0 that is our initial condition okay now suppose if they are asking that y of 2 equal to 0 that means at x equal to 2 our value of y equal to 0 okay up to this much clear good now we are going to find x1 okay we are going to find x1 x2 x3 x4 up to how much we need to find we can look okay now x1 what do you mean by x1 x1 equal to just the previous value x0 plus h what is x0 it is given the initial condition is given x0 is 0 and what is our h it is given in question step size equal to 0.1 so 0 plus 0.1 it is equal to 0.1 now what is x2 just the previous value that is x1 x1 plus h so what is x1 now we found the value of x1 as 0.1 and what is h it is given in question as step size so that is 0.1 so 0.1 plus 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Now x3 is just the previous value that is x2 plus h. So what is x2? 0 0.2. What is h? 0 0.1. So that will give 0 0.3. Now what is x4? x4 equal to x3 plus h. So x3 is just the previous value that is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1. That is equal to 0 0.4. Now x5. Do we need to find x5? Do we need that? no we don't want that because in the question they are asking that we need to find the value x at x equal to 0.4 we need to find the value of y so up to this much only we need to do the calculation for x so we found x equal to 0.4 if they are giving question as x equal to 0.5 then we need to do again okay now we need to find corresponding y value okay so how can we find y first one y1 y2 y3 up to how much we need to do up to y4 we need to do okay so what is y1 
So put the values in equation. If you are need to find y1, just the previous value y0 plus h. h it is given in Costner's step size that is 0.1. y0 plus 0 0.1 into f of so x and minus 1 that is 1 minus 1. We are finding 1. So x1 1 minus 1 is 0. And y of 1 minus 1 it is y0. x0 comma y0. So we can substitute now. Okay. This is function y0 it is given in question initial approximation that is 0 step size it is also given in question point 0.1 we only have a problem when we are doing the function calculation how can we do that okay now given in question our differential equation equal to x plus 2y okay so we are going to substitute for x as x0 and y as y0 so what is our value of x0 it is given in question as 0 then 2 into y0. What is given as y0? It is given in question as 0. So 2 into 0. That means 0 itself. So 0 plus 0, 0. We need to put that value here. So we are going to substitute now. What is y0? It is 0 plus 0.1 into for that function. We found that it is 0. So what will be our answer? It is 0 itself. So our value of y1 equal to 0. Now we need to find the value of y2. You will understand. Now we will understand. y2. What is y2? Just the previous value. That is y1 plus h we know 0.1. Then function of x and minus 1. That is 2 minus 1. That is x1. 2 minus 1. So x1 comma y1. Simple. Now we need to put that x plus 2y. In that place we need to put x1 plus 2y1. Okay. x1 plus 2y1. So y1 we know po 0 then point 1 then function this function finding we need to put for x as x1 and y as y1 x we need to put as x1 and y we need to put as y1 so what is our value x1 so we found that x1 equal to point 1 so we are going to substitute that here x equal to x1 that is point 1 plus 2 into y1 what is our y1 y1 we found that it is 0 so 2 into 0 means it is 0 so that will be 0.1 itself okay so we need to put that value here so y1 we already put 0.1 step size also we put for the function we found that it is 0.1 so 0.1 into 0.1 it is 0 0.01 cool now y3 y3 means just the previous value that is y2 plus step size 0.1 into function of it is x3 so we need to find x2 comma y2 so what is x2 and y2 y2 need we know we found that it is 0.01 okay and step size it is 0.1 now function of x2 and y2 so what we need to put or substitute x plus 2 y as x2 plus 2 y2 okay x2 plus 2 y2 so x2 plus 2 y2 so what is our value of x2 we found that x2 equal to 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 plus 2 y2 2 into what is our y2 y2 we found that it is y2 y2 we found that it is 0 0.01 0 0.01 so when we calculate that 2 into 0 0.01 we will get 0 0.02 plus 0 0.2 we will get 0 0.22 it will be 0 0.22 okay so we are going to substitute that value here so for function x2 comma y2 we are going to substitute 0 0.22 that will give when we put that in calculator we will get it as 0 0.22 into 0.1 it will give 0 0.022 plus 0 0.01 it will be 0 0.032 Okay, so we found the value of y3. Now the final step to find the value of y4. Just the previous value y3 plus 0.1 into f of x3 comma y3. So we know what is our value of y3. We found that it is 0 0.032 plus 0 0.1 step size into function of x3 comma y3. So in that equation x plus 2y, we need to put x3 plus 2y3. So what is our value of x3? x3 plus 2y3 our value of x3 is x3 is 
point three. We found that x three is point three. So point three plus two by three. I will write down here. X three means point three plus two into y three. What is our value of y three? We found y three equal to point zero three two. So two into point zero three two. It will give two into point zero three two into two. That will give okay plus point three point three six four. We will get us point three six four. We need to substitute here. So point one into point three six four. We put in calculator. We will get point three six four into point one plus point zero three two. We will get the answer as point zero six eight four. So we found the value of y four. At the question we they ask at x equal to point four. What is our value of y? So we got y equal to point zero six eight four. We got the value of y as point zero six four eight four. So they asked that at x equal to point four. What will be our value of y? So we got the value as point zero six eight four. So this is the numerical method for solution of differential equation. They will ask a question. At x equal to point four, what will be our value of y? They will ask like y of point four. So we need to understand that at x equal to point four, they are asking the value of y. So if you like this video, please like, click the like button, and thank you.